Hey everybody, welcome back to Noob. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to learn how to play guitar today. Uh, I was just telling Andre here. Um, we're in the Victoria House of Music right now. I'm with Andre, and I was just telling him about my uh, one-week adventure with guitar. So, I don't know how to do anything, but it's going to be really, really fun today. So, um, thank you Andre for having me over here. Oh, thank you. And this is his guitar, this is not my guitar. So, uh, Andre, what, what got you into music? Like, why the guitar? Well, when I was 10 years old, I bugged my parents to get a guitar for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, I don't know, I just wanted to play guitar. But then, I played one week on it, and I started away, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and I rediscovered the guitar a couple of, a couple of years later. Oh, okay. um, And then I really got, I got a teacher, my parents said, oh, well, find your teacher and we'll pay for it, no problem. Okay. And, and was it always like... It, was it classical, like, or did you want to do like, you know, some like popular tunes at the time? Uh, I started with popular guitar because I had no idea that classical guitar even existed. Okay. <laughs> it was it was my first teacher that um, basically showed it to me because he was a classical guitarist. Okay. So at first I was just learning these pop songs, and just you know, strumming. Yes, yes. Um, but then um, he lent me these uh, classical guitar CDs. And I listened. I listened to them, and uh, I just, I just fell in love with the guitar. This was my calling. Okay. It was sounded so beautiful, and I was really impressed. Oh, you can do so many things at once, you know. <laughs> That's amazing. It sounds like multiple people are playing, like a, yeah. like a mini orchestra. We're, yeah. So we're gonna try and like navigate around this instrument, and we're gonna try some things. So you know, hopefully you guys will enjoy what we're doing. Um, so Andre, what are we gonna learn? First today, and should I be like, should I be? Yeah. So, kind of so here I'll give you this footstool. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this is great. Okay. Yeah. You, you want to be more at this angle rather than like this. Okay. Know? Just so you can see it. Um, yeah. Also, it's better uh, for the projection. If okay. It, if it's at the, at this angle, because instead of being going down like this, you know, because the sound comes comes from here. Okay. Right. All right. So, I think. We figured out where I'm supposed to sit and how I'm supposed to sit. I think I'm ready, so what is first on the menu for the lesson? Uh, well, we're going to learn three different uh, okay. techniques today. Awesome. <laughs> so the first technique we're going to learn today is the rest from. Okay. So that's really um, something really basic to begin with. So basically you're going to play this, play the string. Let's say I'm using the um, index okay. finger, right? And after I play, it's gonna rest on the next string. Okay. So, yeah, it rests on the adjacent string. Okay. Okay. So more to the right. Yeah. So here is fine, and then um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Famous bar chords because everyone has such a hard time <laughs> learning these I, bar chords. I've actually tried this before and I can't do it, so this is going to be really interesting, you guys. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? Okay, so first you want to get the shape right. Okay, okay. so it's basically like this. Imagine okay. I'm holding <laughs> something. Okay. All right, I don't know what it's like that. Do. Yeah, exactly. Like this. We can do a close up. We can do a close up. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, and then I suggest doing it at a higher fret. Okay. Because it's easier just to begin with. Right? And then, so you're going to press. So your finger is straight. Right? Yeah. And your thumb is behind the neck. I'm trying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the position we're looking for. And then you have to make sure that you're in the fret and oh in it, not yeah, in it. Yeah, because yeah, if you if you touch if, if you go kinda of outside or, or here then it's not gonna sound it's gonna sound muffled. You know, it's gonna sound like this versus Okay. You know you know what? That's it. That's not bad. 
I'm like, but I'm using a lot of mental power right now to think about it. Okay, <laughs> now let's add the other fingers. Oh, the other fingers. <laughs> okay. Alright, okay. step one. <laughs> okay, so now you can do the bar, right? Yeah. Okay, you want to make a chord out of it. To put your bar, yeah, and then you have your um, third finger here. Here, yeah, fourth finger, uh, the pinky goes yeah. underneath. Uh, there? Yeah, and then this other one there goes here. Yeah, and then you have your, your major chord there. So for the bar chords, actually, you know, because you're using these fingers too, right? Right. So you don't really need these strings to sound. So instead of being really snug with it, you, you, you have your finger a little bent. Okay. Bent, curved, because you don't need these strings. You only need this one and this one. And then when you add, so then you need, right. It's a little bit easier. Okay. Okay. Kids, <laughs> practice. This is this is why you need to practice. <laughs> okay. Okay. But I think I think I have that. So then we can move on to. Okay. Next one. Next one. Next the, the final one. So it, it's gonna be the tremolo. Yes. Okay. So I've, I've seen this tremolo. before, and it looks effortless, but I'm sure it's really difficult. Yeah. There may, there are multiple ways of, of doing it, but this is the most common one. Okay. So we're gonna stick with that one. Um, so basically, the pattern will be the thumb, the ring finger. The middle finger and the index finger, and then repeat. So you can try on one string. Okay. So to begin with. Yeah, that's it. So. Okay. It's not bad. <laughs> it's just like it's it's. For me, because like we're both classically trained, it's just like for me, it's bugging me because the the, the sound I'm getting from the thumb is very different than the, these three fingers. And I was yeah. just, I was like, how do I like how do I make it so that they all sound, sound the same? same? Yeah, that's uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, not bad. Okay. <laughs> cool. Okay, but those are three things that are really cool. And I mean, like those are all things that you can find in different pieces. Yeah. Right, constantly everywhere. Like I'm, I think personally for myself, I'm gonna work on the, the, the bar. Just because this is something that has always been a problem for me. Because um, I just, growing up, I just never could do it. And now I feel like I can do it a little bit, so I wanna get better at it. And yeah, this is fun. So, I think we're gonna try something right now. Um, we're going to try and sight read a piece. Well, not really sight read. We're going to try and learn a piece. And it's, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I think we're going to do like a quick time lapse here where I try to learn as quickly as I can. We're going to do a couple of measures. We, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. This is going to be fun. We'll see you guys like after the time lapse. All right. So, where is this music? <laughs> What's our tempo? Slow yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> yeah, let's do One.
fun. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. My hands are really tired. Andre, thank you so much for having me. This oh, is really, really fun. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Yeah. So, um, if people want to know more about the like, Victoria House of Music and what you do, like, uh, are you guys on Facebook and? Yeah, we're on, on Facebook and uh, also have a web page. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Right. So yeah, all thank all you. of those links. I'll put them underneath in the description. So if you guys are interested, I'll get I'll get them from Andre later. Um, click on all those links below and please support them. They are a uh, new new uh, teaching group here and performing duo. Um, so thank you so much, and we'll see you guys very very soon. Bye.